robbery suspects nabbed after allegedly torching their getaway car. Young boy pulled from the surf while mum and dad drink at the pub. And a coast jeweller, the target of an international diamond scam. They are looking for the very best available on the market. Live from 50 Capital Avenue, Surfers Paradise, this is Nine Gold Coast News. Good evening and thanks for joining us. A dramatic arrest at Arundel this morning when police swooped on two armed robbery suspects. Let's go live now to Petrina Zafra. Petrina, tell us what happened. Darren, it's alleged the men had spent the night terrorising convenience store workers across two suburbs, but a minor hit and run would be their undoing. The pair was arrested in a park off Napa Road this morning to speak to anyone with information on any of the four hold-ups over the past few days. Thanks, Petrina, and we'll have more on that story in tonight's news at 6 o'clock. While a worrying trend has emerged on Gold Coast beaches this holiday season, parents dumping children while they go sightseeing. Lifesavers report rescuing young swimmers from the surf only to find out they're all alone. What began as a standard rescue of two brothers aged 11 and 12. So investors can expect to see a lot more supply in those pockets in future years. Milena Strocheska, 9 Gold Coast News. Coming up, a treasure trove for antique lovers at the Rotary Fair and why ticketless paid parking has become a real headache. You're watching the Gold Coast's only local news. Well, in breaking news, police are investigating after the discovery of a man's body in a home at Southport late this afternoon. It's understood he suffered a head wound. Neighbours reported hearing a loud argument at the Falconer Street address sometime during the past few days. Well, the city's new parking meters are driving some motorists mad. The council says the system is more high-speed smash on the motorway at Coomera this afternoon. The rider had to be cut free from the back of the ute. Incredibly, he appears to have suffered only broken bones and is stable currently at University Hospital. Dominique is on the balcony now with sport and Dom Greg Bird is back from his New York honeymoon and he started the new year with a massage. That sounds awfully good. Yeah, not bad for a training session, Darren. He's back at work a day early, but he's staying away from the cameras. That's next. And Bernard Tomic finds form at the Brisbane International. Bernard Tomic says he's playing his best tennis in some time after winning last night's All Aussie clash at the Brisbane International in 79 minutes. The strong serving 22 year old local. It's such a great spot and a fantastic venue for us to race at, and it's going to be exciting. Darren Wes is probably the fittest 35-year-old I know, apart from you, of course. Uh, thanks, Tom. I know my wife wishes I had his physique anyway. Well, the word is the weekend's not looking too bad. Courtney has your local weather forecast coming right up next. Welcome back. I'm at Broad Beach this evening. Here's what's making news at 6. Coming up, the masked man behind a deadly terror attack in Paris as the world unites in defiance. A dramatic arrest of robbers accused of a Gold Coast crime wave. A Campbell Newman satirist in embarrassment. That's coming up. Well, a dreary and drizzly day on the coast, but the weekend's not looking too bad. I'll have more on that soon. 19 to 27 degrees at Coolangatta today. 27 the top at Burley Heads and Southport. Up to 30 degrees at Narang and Coomera. At the moment here at Broad Beach, it's around 22 degrees. Diving conditions are still pretty good, but stick to the inshore dives. Visibility's around 10 metres. Local diver Ian Banks has been exploring the southern end of the Gold Coast. He says it's one of the only places in the country where you can dive just off the beach and come face to face with these beautiful eagle rays. East to north easterly winds tomorrow 10 to 15 knots. High tide at the seaway will be around a quarter to 11 in the morning and the sun will be up just before 5am. A few scattered showers around this evening. And another drizzly day on the way tomorrow. Partly cloudy, a shower or two and a top of 29 degrees. But good news for the weekend. Just a possible evening shower on Saturday at this stage. A top of 29 degrees. Now here are Luke and Glenn with their fishing and beach reports. Hey, thanks, Courtney. It hasn't been the best couple of days offshore, but, gee, it's come good today. Tomorrow's going to be OK also, but if you're planning your weekend, Sunday is the day. Let's check it out. Yeah, half your luck if you had to. Followed it up with another six on Tuesday and have really been going berserk. Most around the 50 to 100 kilo mark, but some slightly bigger. But check it out, just awesome action. 
get out there, guys. Seriously, we might have one of the hottest marlin bites anywhere in the world out there at the moment. Hope you catch one. Good luck. Here's Rocky with the surf. Yeah, thanks, Luke. A patchy grey day out on the coast. Not the best beach day, but definitely those rains keeping the ocean very glassy and some fun surf out there. For the surfers, lighter winds today, so super glassy conditions early, with a broken up one metre plus easterly swell hanging in there. Wave magnets like TOS, the spit, open northern beaches and Debar were the pick spots for into the weekend and into next week. So it looks like much the same over the next couple of days as we lead into the weekend. Some fun waves out there, just not the best beach conditions. But it's still get out and make the most of it. We'll all be back tomorrow night for the latest on those weekend beach and surf conditions. Thanks guys. Darren, the rain has held off here at Broad Beach this evening. Lucky for me. Have a great night. Looks beautiful and tranquil down there, Courtney. Thank you. Well, you can stay up to date by visiting our website, 9news.com.au, and you can now listen to Melissa for all the national and international headlines. That's next.